They said it couldn't be done. Turn swamp sludge into crystal clear drinking water using nothing but a pinch of salt. No fancy filters, no purification tablets, just old school chemistry and wartime grit. This isn't some TikTok myth or survival folklore. It's a real method used by soldiers during World War II when their canteens ran dry and clean water was nowhere in sight. And if you're serious about survival or just love rediscovering forgotten genius, stick around. Because today we're diving deep into World War II's most underrated water hack. Oh, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join the Prepper Survival Blueprint crew. We bring you the tactics that could literally save your life. In World War II, water wasn't just hydration. It was survival currency. Soldiers marched through jungles, deserts and swamps where every puddle looked suspicious. Disease-ridden water was just as deadly as bullets. Dysentery, cholera and typhoid fever claimed more men than combat in some regions. Clean water became a tactical advantage. The military had purification tablets, but supplies ran out fast. Portable filters were bulky, fragile, and often clogged with mud within hours. That's when chemistry and desperation kicked in. Some field engineers and medics discovered that adding ordinary table salt to muddy or cloudy water caused the dirt to clump together and sink. The top layer turned visibly clear within hours. It wasn't magic. It was science. Here's how it went down. When soldiers filled their canteens with murky water from a swamp, they added a small amount of salt, stirred it, and waited. Within a short time, the heavy particles began settling at the bottom. The top became clear enough to drink after boiling. No filter, no fabric straining, just chemistry doing its quiet work. This trick didn't come from an official manual at first. It spread through field stories and uh, improvisation. Resourceful troops in the Pacific and North African campaigns found it worked best with fine table salt, not coarse rock salt. It wasn't a perfect solution, but it turned unusable water into something manageable. And when you're sweating under 40 degree heat, manageable could mean the difference between making it home or not. Let's break down what was really happening. The salt trick relies on a process called flocculation, the same principle used in modern water treatment plants. Muddy water looks dirty because of suspended particles, tiny bits of clay, organic matter, and microbes. These particles have electric charges that repel each other, keeping them floating instead of sinking. When salt or sodium chloride is added, it increases the ionic strength of the water, neutralizing those charges. Once that electrical barrier drops, particles start sticking together, forming heavier clusters called flocks. Gravity does the rest. They sink to the bottom, leaving the upper layer visibly clear. Now, let's be clear about something. This doesn't purify the water. The salt trick only clarifies it. You still need to disinfect it afterward, preferably by boiling. But it makes the job much easier because you're not trying to boil a pot of mud soup. WWW was full of improvised science. Soldiers didn't have laboratory precision. They had tin cups, helmets, and grit. They learned through necessity that salt wasn't just for rations. It could be used for cleaning wounds, preserving meat, and yes, clarifying swamp water. In field reports from Allied troops, some mentioned how they'd sweeten foul water by letting it settle with salt overnight. 
Others used a mix of salt and ash, but the salt-only trick was faster and less messy. It was a small piece of chemistry brilliance hidden in the mud of war. Think about it. A pinch of something every soldier carried for flavor became a survival tool. That's the spirit of wartime innovation, turning the ordinary into the extraordinary when everything's on the line. Fast forward to today. You might have a high-end water filter, UV sterilizer, or purification tablets in your bug-out bag. But what happens when those run out? When you're left with muddy rainwater or a stagnant pond, this World War II trick still earns its place. Salt is cheap, light, and everywhere. A small packet can make the difference between despair and a fighting chance. The process is simple. Let the mud settle with a little salt, pour off the clearer layer, then disinfect. You can boil it, use iodine, or solar sterilize it if you've got time and sunlight. The salt simply gives you a head start, a way to make dirty water manageable before purification. It's also a crucial mental shift, you know. Prepping isn't just about gear. It's about understanding principles. If you know how water behaves, you can adapt even when tools are gone. That's what separates the survivor from the stranded. Of course, no trick is perfect. Salt doesn't remove bacteria, viruses, or chemical toxins. It also makes the water slightly saline, though not dangerously so, unless you overdo it. If you're using it often, be aware of sodium intake. Still, compared to dying of dehydration or dysentery, it's a small trade-off. Another key point. The settling time matters. Give it at least half an hour for light mud and longer for thick sediment. Patience here equals clarity. Don't stir it once it's settled. Pour gently from the top, leaving the bottom sludge untouched. In a world where survival often means reliance on tech and gadgets, the salt trick reminds us that knowledge is the ultimate gear. It's pure chemistry. No batteries needed. You can teach it to a child, test it in the backyard, or use it in the field. The World War II salt trick isn't just a chemistry experiment. It's a mindset. When everything breaks down, survival depends on knowledge, not gadgets. Knowing how to turn mud into clear water with nothing but a handful of salt is more than a trick. It's proof that human ingenuity thrives under pressure. So, next time you're out camping, training, or planning your bug-out kit, remember this. One pinch of salt, a little time, and basic science could turn dirty water into your lifeline. And if this kind of forgotten wisdom gets your gears turning, make sure to subscribe to Prepper's Survival Blueprint. Hit that button, share this video, and help us keep these life-saving skills alive. Because when the world goes dark, knowledge, like clean water, will be worth its weight in gold.